Hi everyone, Dr. Sonia here, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about longevity in regards to meditation. There's a particular meditation called Faith and Kriya that's been studied in many different places, and what they've come to know is by practicing this meditation for just 12 minutes a day, you can go up to all the way to 31 minutes a day, and what it does, because it has all these different elements involved in it, it has mantra, it has mudra, where you're using your hands, it has a visualization, and you're also using your voice. So you're connecting your tongue to the palate and the upper palate, so that is connected to your meridian system and it's activating and communicating within your body. So what they have found with these studies is those that practice this, they have more um, they have more energy, there is improvement in memory, so their frontal lobe is able to focus, there's more multitasking that occurs, there's also um, more blood flow in the area, which is actually creating that ability to recall events in our lives. So we know as we age, um, many of us may know somebody that's affected with Alzheimer's, dementia. I know for me, my, my grandmother has it and it, um, it affects not only the individual, but the entire community, the, the family, the system. And what this Kriya does, it works on that brain power. So it works on increasing the size of your brain so that you have that reserve. It increases communication between different parts of your brain too. So I'm gonna go over how to do the Kriya and hopefully you can take that tool and use it in your everyday life for just 12 minutes a day. I practiced this Kriya years ago. I um, did level one teacher training for Kundalini Yoga and I was a new mom. Uh, our oldest son was only eight weeks old and what I found was by practicing this Kriya, it was given to us for homework for 40 days. It's the thing that helped me stay steady and strong. Um, with the sleepless nights, with you know being a new mom and all the changes, running a business and doing all these things externally, this was something that I could always land back on to help me feel centered and feel like myself again. So essentially how it works, the chanting that you're doing is um, Sa Ta Na Ma. And Sa is um, that relation to the infinite, something bigger than ourselves. Ta is the relationship to life itself and existence. Na is recognizing death and change and shift and surrendering and letting go and then ma is the rebirth and when we're chanting that again you know some people are uncomfortable chanting so i would really encourage you to recognize the signs behind the chanting and the reason why we do it you're creating a sound vibration our cells will vibrate at a certain frequency because of the sound that you're making and when they're vibrating at this certain frequency it's very healing for your body and for your mind. So when you're chanting Sa, your thumb will be touching your Jupiter finger, which is the index. Tha is your Saturn finger, which is the middle. Na is the sun finger right here, the ring finger. And then Ma is the Mercury finger, so your pinky. So you're gonna be doing that with both hands and kind of rhythmical, so Sa, Tha, Na, Ma. And as you're doing that, you're sitting in a comfortable position, your arms are stretched out, and you're also gonna be doing a visualization. So this visualization, you're essentially imagining a light coming into your crown and coming out of your, this third eye point here, this intuitive center. And what this is called, it's called the golden cord. So essentially what you're doing is you're linking your pineal gland and your pituitary gland and you're creating more communication there and more strength there and the way you want to visualize it is on each sound so if you're saying sa the s part the lights coming down and on the ah the lights going out so in that one breath of sa ta na ma the light will be going moving through four times so this is creating many different um movements with your hands with your brain, like you're having to do a lot of different things at the same time, which is exercising those nerves, which is creating more of that communication. So again, you can do it for 31 minutes, you can do it for 12 minutes. So essentially how it works with the chanting is the first few minutes. So if you're doing 12 minutes, the first two minutes, 
you'd be chanting it out loud. The following two minutes, you'd be whispering. And then for a good four minutes in between, you're going to be um, silent. So you're gonna still be chanting it internally, mentally in your mind. And then you come out of it with the whisper for two minutes and then another two minutes of chanting it out loud. And then you're going to sit for a minute just in that vibration and what that feels like. So I encourage you to do this. I will, um, with this video, we will put in a, um, a recording of the Sata Nama so that you can play it along with your chanting or you can do it on your own. It's really so simple. You don't need to know how to sing. I can't sing. Essentially, all you're doing is Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama, Sata Nama. So again, 12 minutes or 31 minutes, it's your choice. The longer you can go, the better it is for you. But really take advantage of this tool to allow longevity in your life, especially for your brain. Because without that piece, we lose a piece of ourselves and we lose that ability to communicate our truest self to others and our families. So if you have any questions, write them down underneath the video and I will be sure to put in the music for you.